The wife of the Vice President, Mrs. Matilda Emisa Arthur, has advised Christians to seek only God in the face of all troubles instead of looking for solutions for men of God. She said Christians in recent times have become miracle seekers rather than dwelling on the Bible and getting close to God. Mrs. Emisa Arthur was speaking at the launch of For Freedom or Bondage, a book that critiques African pastoral practices. The book was authored by Dr. Esther Akolache. Counseling a woman who was having problems in her marriage led Dr. Esther Kolache to come out with this book, which took 14 years to be ready. For Freedom or Bondage, published by Edmark Corporation, encourages Christians to get closer to God and believe that God is mightier than any problem that confronts them. Over the last decade, the Christian way of worship, especially that of the African, has taken a different turn. Christians now attribute any problem they have to demons. And instead of seeking the Lord's face in times of hardships, some Christians now move from church to church seeking miracles and believing that men of God have the solution to their problems. In their quest, most Christians end up more bonded. God has anticipated our need for security and made provision for it. And somehow, even Christians do not remember that. The ancients understood ritual. They knew that in the waters of baptism, something has happened. And yet for us Christians, we do not understand that something has happened. And I kept wondering what it was that was making it difficult for us to understand that something has happened. The invitation as to whether what we are doing frees us for joyful living or binds us is what this book is about and I'm hoping that we will do the things that free us for joyful living. For freedom, Christ has set us free. The wife of the vice president, Mrs. Matilda Emisa Arthur, who launched the book, described it as a well-researched and interesting piece that will open the eyes of whoever reads it. Each of you, I'm sure if I called you, will talk about the battles that you've had. So, the person who goes for deliverance it's not different from you and me sitting here. It could happen to any of us. But the beauty is knowing that the Lord Jesus is above it and can't take you through. And also, not going to somebody who will compound your problems and leave you more miserable. Some of them have ended up in psychiatric hospital. Some have committed suicide. This book will encourage you. This book will comfort you. This book will break new grounds that you've never even imagined. The first copy of the book was sold at the launch at 2,000 Ghana cities. Copies are available at all branches of the Challenge Bookshop.